Welcome back to my fire. You are at Campfire Chat with Alaska Chick. That would be me. Tonight we are answering a question from my new friend whom I met while we were just beginning the International Horseback Adventure. Tina Clifford. She is Valkyrie's hammer with the Boomtown Roller Derby team. Tina asked me to speak about my most profound moment. I've had more than one. But I can admit that when I read the question the first time, one did and always does come to mind. The moment I turned this rock over and picked it up off the ground was one of my most profound My moments. hunting partner, Brian, was kind of tuning me up and getting me ready. I'd been guiding for six years and I was going to start sheep hunting sheep guiding. Well, I wasn't real keen on the idea. Um, it was two years after I had been shot, and everybody was all pumped up for me to be a sheep guide, because the doctors had said I would never yeah. climb another mountain. I wasn't nearly as excited about the whole idea as they were, but I did what I had to do. And what I would do was I would sit when Brian was glassing for sheep, you know, with his tripod, he'd be laying on the ground. I would sit right behind him, and he would sit up, and then we wouldn't move the tripod, and I would be able to look at the same thing he's looking at, same way, same everything, and we'd talk about it. Tells me I'm into I was impatient. That's always been one of my skills. Tells me I'm into him and tell him to hurry up. I wanted to see what was going on. And he kept giving me the elbow back, telling me to back off, wait, wait, wait. You know, so I was just sitting there in the creek bed playing with rocks. And I, this one was kind of actually digging into me. And I picked it up and turned it over. Most people that see it don't think it's real when they first see it. And it is. It's quartz embedded right into it and it looks just like a ram's head. It was a profound moment for me because I really didn't want to be... I really didn't want to fail. Something tells me I'm into something Something tells me I'm into something He's the kind of boy who's not too shy just didn't know if I'd be able to walk to the top of a mountain. It was very difficult learning to walk again and learning to walk well. It was almost daring me not to try. I had to go. And if I'm gonna try, I might as well be the best. We only danced for a minute or two, but then he stuck close to me the whole night. I went. We killed sheep. There's my sheep rock. That's my most profound moment. He walked me home and he held my hand. I knew it couldn't be just a one night stand. And he asked to see me next week and I told him I could. He asked to see me and I told him I could. Something tells me I'm into something. Something tells me I'm into something. something most 
humbling moment, as Tina also asked me for, I am a wilderness and big game guide in the mountains of Alaska. Trust me, there are a lot of humbling, come to Jesus moments out there in the wilderness. Woke up this morning feeling fine. There's something special on my mind. I do have one that comes right to mind. We were, we were sheep hunting, but we weren't actively stalking. What we were doing was we were climbing to get a better view, and it was it was more than it was more like walking than climbing because it was on these rolly. I mean, you're you're gaining a lot of altitude. You're a lot higher than you think, but it's not so much of a rock and shale climb up a side of a mountain. But we needed to get a lot closer to see if we were going to climb that day. And of course it was raining most of the morning and we were soaking wet. Then he stuck close to me the whole night through. Can I be falling in love? Kind of had a better idea for the next day and we were gonna check out another spot. We turned around and we were getting ready to come back to where we had tied and left the horses. And we're just there's my trainee, my client, and myself, and we're just walking down the side of the mountain. No big deal, not a care in the world. We got a plan, always have a plan. Grizzly bear. You know, we'll take a look at him. He's just a little bear. He's. My client, he wasn't real big on bear hunting anyway. So, I mean, it wasn't an issue, but it was very cool to see. Walk me home and he helped. We're walking around, you know, not really getting the point quite yet. And I told him I could. You know, we're doing our walk, no big deal. Coming down stuff like that's just an absolute breeze. Literally a walk in the park. It must have hit all three of us all at the same time. We're looking at, you know, because we'd watched the bear come across. It's all nice and flat. There's no brush. That bear was headed right to where we had hobbled the horses. Oh, had a pretty good lope. We're looking at where he just came out of the second ravine, and we're looking if we could see through the hillish mound in front of us kind of where we had left the horses. When we're doing this, oh shit. My last night I met a new boy in the neighborhood. Oh yeah. Something. We all just really stepped it up. I mean, we're coming down the hill. We're not running or anything like that, but we're we have a purpose. We're on a mission. We have to get to those horses. And I can tell him he's my guy. He danced close to me. Now let me reiterate this because we've talked about this a couple times. We've never had a problem with bears and horses intermingling at all. However, all three of us knew that <laughs> If the bear kept on the track he was following, we were going to be walking back to camp. He's everything I've been dreaming of. So, we just wanted to get there soon enough to make sure we still had a ride. Right in front of us. I mean, we're coming down the hill in a hurry, and no more than five yards away, tops. We came face to face with that grizzly bear. And he came face to face with three people coming at him really and fast. He immediately stood up and made his snarl. Certain things, out. things happen. Yeah. All My in the hunter same has way. his rifle slung across his backpack. And I looked over at my trainee further, you know, just taking him in with a glance. 
and he's sitting there and he's messing with his rain pants and he couldn't keep his pants from slipping while we were climbing up, you know, the side of the mountain. And so he tied his rain pants over his sidearm that he carried. Basically, we're... <laughs> We were in a bad situation instantly. We were seriously outclassed for weapons. <laughs> so I did the only thing, I mean, it was all just do something. It was all reactionary. And so I stepped in front of both of them and I just said, hey! at me and he was looking down on me from his little mound and he's right there and he just looked me right in the eye and all by his lung I mean just dropped all fours and he was gone like a oh, holy bullet. cow you know this and that you know blah 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 you can imagine what was said I don't need to repeat it and so we're watching this bear and he is hauling ass. There was nothing else that could be done. So, trust me, that was an incredibly humbling moment, knowing that, there you go. There's your time. That's what you got. So that was my most profound and my most humbling moment. We answered your question, Tina. Valkyrie's hammer. And you guys make sure that you all leave me a question to answer so we can keep coming back to my fire and chatting. Okay? Bye.